clinical hypnosis is really focused on uh, accessing and leveraging the parts of your brain that do things for you automatically. Your brain does hundreds of things for you on a daily basis, like breathing and blinking, and you don't have to think about these things. And so if we could start to integrate some of the strategies that you want to use into that automatic part of your brain and your body created as this automatic hob habit, uh, then you can start to use it in a more adaptive way and it can help you um, to cope with pain pain or uh, kind of deal with other conditions that people have used hypnosis for in the past. We don't use any sort of physical motion, rather it's really focused on this deep state of relaxation. For this particular study, we focused on individuals who had recently experienced a spinal cord injury. We know that patients that have had a spinal cord injury tend to have more frequent pain. This is a major secondary condition for the individuals living with spinal cord injury and one that they cite as uh, really negatively impacting their quality of life. Patients were really eager to have something to help treat pain early on and that it was effective for them in providing some immediate relief. And our next steps are to see, is this effective for the long term? So can it actually prevent chronic pain from developing? There's a lot of reason to think that this could be helpful for many different chronic pain populations, especially with those related to nerve injuries.